In this video, we're going to teach you how exactly to use the Archer Queen. It's not a case of just throwing her into the base when you attack. There are a number of different methods that you can use in order to get maximum benefit from your queen. We have attacks at Town Hall 10, 11 and 12 on display for you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, diving into the first one, we have a huge Town Hall 12 triple here by Kevin. What an amazing attack this was. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans videos and turn on the notification bell. That's the only way to stay up to date when any of my videos go live. Now the first method we are going to show you today is the Sui Hero method. This is purely using your queen in order to take out a certain area of the base or certain objectives and then letting her go down. That is it. Once you've taken out them objectives, that's all you need from her. Now often this will be just at the edge of the base, however in this example Kevin is going to bust into the base, take down the Multi Inferno and the Giga Tesla with a Suicide Archer Queen. That is pretty amazing value. Now in order to get into the base like this you've obviously got to set up that funnel which he did at either side using the King and the Baby Dragon. Just a couple of troops but look at that Queen. Able to take out the multi. Yes there was a lot of splash there but not a lot of point defense. Popping that ability then able to get the Giga Tesla and at this point it really doesn't matter about the Archer Queen going down. She's got the objectives that we wanted. She's got the value and that is it. Now we're going to finish this one off with an Electron and what an attack it was. Again the Electron you can often use at the start of a raid, either send in the Stone Slammer or the Blimp, but once you've used your heroes to take out some defenses you can actually get the Blimp or the Slammer easier into the center of the base and then we just have the Perimeter in order to clean up with the Lalo and this was a fantastic attack for for crunch time in our CWL invite matchup against Kerala Royals. If you are interested in joining crunch time or any of the UK War Alliance clans, you can check out my Discord server. All of my social media is linked down below and from there you will be able to see all of the recruitment for the clans that I am in. But we are going to swiftly move along to the next variation, the next method that you can use for your queen. And we actually have six different variations on display, six different attacks using the Archer Queen in different methods. So let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, on to the next one, and we have the Queen Charge Technique. Many of you would have guessed that this would be in the video. It is incredibly powerful, but it does take a little bit of practice. Now, it is very similar to the Sui Hero method that you just seen. It depends on how you use the Suicide hero method actually. You don't always have to push into the base as you've seen in that first example. You can just use her on the edge of the base but essentially with the queen charge you're still trying to get that value. You're just trying to get more of it. Hence you are committing some healers for it as well. So you need to ensure that you get the queen into the base. You can do that by setting up a funnel. We use the baby dragon at the top and the king at the bottom so that she is drawn into the base itself. Now again, you're just wanting to get further into the base if you are committing the healers with that. So you need access through the walls, whether that be wall breakers as you've seen here, jump spell, wall wrecker or stone slammer. You've got to have a plan to get your queen in and the rage spells will be your best friend as you can see encompassing the healers as well. If there is a hound in the CC, just make sure you're popping a minion in, help to take down them pups and protect your healers. Now commonly you will use the queen charge to take out a section of the base that is key objectives but also pathing for another part of the attack, whether that be the miners as in this one or the Lalo is another popular strategy. And there might be numerous methods of using your queen, like I said we have six attacks on display for you to 
today and showing different methods one of them being a queen walk which is walking your queen on the outside of the base but that might then be integrated as well with the charge where you're then sending her in now if you look at the base as a whole here you can see that the queen charge has been responsible for all of this and again that not only takes out objectives it means that the miners can concentrate just on this top area and we've used the slammer in order to help thin that area down if you can control the pathing of the miners that is going to be a big help and you've got to get your spells right so whilst you're using some rage spells you might need a jump spell like I said to get the queen through you've got to then have enough spells for the other part of the base and whatever else you're going to be using obviously with miners heal spells are what you're going to use and you can see that with the queen charge ideally you want her to stay alive as long as possible even once you've got that value initially if you can keep her alive she's going to get more value that goes without saying but she's also going to help with time and clearing up the base so if you can do try and keep her alive but it's not the end of the world guys if you get that value initially and she goes down then you've still set up the raid appropriately but let's move on to the next technique we are moving down to Town Hall 11 for this one, and the third method I'm going to share with you is purely to set up your funnel. So this is kind of the Sui Hero method, but I just wanted to highlight that the Queen can be a fantastic troop for setting up that funnel. Now you might hear me talking about that in numerous videos in terms of the funnel, but it is probably the most important part of your attack. Essentially, controlling the AI of the troops is what you need to try and do to the best of your ability. And that means taking out buildings, as you can see here, to control where the other the troops might go in terms of the miners now coming in so the queen has taken out this area and she's going to basically press right the way down the side here and what you can see is that it just thins out that area the miners aren't going to have to come to the outside of the base they're going to be concentrated on the inside so the queen is an incredible troop in order to do this especially on the outside because what you will see coming down to the end of it she can actually reach across to certain buildings on this one she takes out a wizard tower at the inside of the base and on the outside very close i thought she got that one actually but she didn't she got one on the inside but i wanted to highlight the funnel for this one so she takes out all of these buildings keeps the miners moving through but it's not just like any other troop like the king or the pecker on the outside she can also reach on the inside in order to take out any buildings so you'd want to use the queen to set up a funnel in an area where she could reach across and take out another building as well again this is kind of the sui hero method but it's not used in order to take out objectives within the base per se it's just used to set up the funnel for the rest of your troops and as you can see the miners now are going to finish things off here just get a little bit close since the troops on the outside went down but more than enough miners to finish this one off so let's move swiftly along to the next technique for your archer queen Moving on to the next one, we have a Queen Walk. Now this is different to the Queen Charge. Again, a lot of people kind of use these phrases interchangeably and they do relatively a similar thing, but a walk is keeping the Queen on the outside of the base and walking all of the way around. Remember, she can reach buildings just on the inside, but a Queen Charge would be pressing her into the base itself in order to take out objectives on the inside. So the Queen Walk is a fantastic technique to take out a lot of point defense as you can see she's going to take out a lot of these buildings here but essentially it can also help with the funnel much like that attack that you just seen prior to this so she's actually going to take out all of this area and keep the bowlers in the middle concentrating their fire so again a lot of these techniques that you will see can be interchangeable and often they will cover a number of things across the different attacks but for this one we have a couple of healers onto the queen I haven't really mentioned that so far guys but the queen walk and the charge you're probably going to take 
four healers, five if you're wanting a huge amount of value. Five tends to be more if you're charging into the base because there's more uh, susceptibility for black air bombs, but that's where you would also send in balloons sprinkled in front of the healers in order to try and soak them up if possible. But just look at the queen on the outside of that base. She has taken out so much value in terms of defenses just from the archer queen and it's helped the bowlers to get through the base gut out the core and the good thing about a queen walk is look at it all of the rest of the base is still able to be taken down from the queen so as long as you can take out the core she can walk right the way around the outside and take out the rest of the base whether that be defenses whether it be trash buildings i mean let's look at the queen here she gets into this compartment and can't get back out has to bust through a wall I just love seeing the queen bang against the walls, but she is going to get the three stars on this one. By the way, guys, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, but let's move on to the next variation of using that arch queen. All right, for this one, it's probably the way that most people, when they first unlock the Archer Queen, will use the Queen. You've seen a lot of different methods there in them first few attacks, which are a little bit more advanced, if you will, in terms of the Queen charge and the healers, maybe using her to pick off specific defenses. That's the sort of thing that you will learn as you practice, but don't forget, you can still use the queen to huge effect by just sending her into the base. Most likely, your queen is going to get best value in the center of the base, primarily because she can shoot in a number of different directions. She can shoot air targeting troops that might come out of the clan castle. Obviously, you can see the dragon in this one going to go down because of the archer queen, and that can be obviously very helpful and be key to help getting you the three stars. Again, she can shoot over different compartments so she can help to take out the archer queen. She is incredible incredibly high amounts of damage that she deals so if you can keep her protected and other troops in front as in this one the frozen witch strategy she's going to wreck in the center of that base and help you could take it down incredibly fast so don't forget about it guys get the funnel get the queen into the center of the base this is something particularly at town hall 9 that you will probably see in terms of getting the funnel set the king the bowlers in the clan castle and the queen into the center of the base and jobs a good one as long as you can get the queen in the center it is a three star so don't forget about it get the queen into the center of the base keep her protected try and hold on to that ability as long as you can you don't know when you're going to need it for example towards the end of the raid here again the queen can reach across to these different buildings so it does work out well if you can gut out the core and as long as you get the queen to the outside of the base she can still reach all of the buildings whether they're one layer in whether they're on the perimeter with her walking around but again don't forget about just sending the queen into the center. It can definitely work out. Let's move on to the final attack of this video, though, before we wrap things up. All right, guys, on to the final attack. Now, this variation has already been shown in the video, but I wanted to highlight it to you because it's something that can be very easily overlooked and can give you so much more value. So especially at Town Hall 10, often you will use the king on one side, queen on the other to set up the funnel in order to send the miners or the drag bat or whatever through the base. But I want to pause here for a second just to explain this to you. Please think about what side you're using the king on and what side you're using the queen on. So on this one, we're using the king to just take out this area of the base, queen to take out this area for the dragons to come through. But look, the queen can take out an air defense down on this area. Remember, she is a ranged troop. So do think about what would be more beneficial for your king and queen. The king with his barbarian ability can flush out areas of base incredibly quick, especially if there is an enemy king over in that area that he might be able to clock but again in terms of the archer queen that's what we're focusing on for this video do think about that ranged ability can you actually pick off an air defense if it's a minor attack like we said before can you pick off a wizard tower or so do just think about it because it's something that can be very easily overlooked just popping the king on one side queen on the other yes it might still be effective yes it might still work and you're using the king and queen there just to set up the funnel we've mentioned that but 
you can use the queen to greater effect depending on where you put them in so do think about that on the base for this one we've used the dragons to press in use the bat bomb over the back end of the base and then we have balloons helping to clean up as well so that was a snapshot at this high level town hall 10 11 and 12 like we said at the toppest level of competition as well cwl invite and crunch time always continue to impress me with some of the attacks that we put out super super close on this one corral royals getting the victory unfortunately for us clutching it right at the last moment but you did see a couple of them town hall 12 three stars which were absolutely incredible again if you want to join any of the uk war alliance clans obviously crunch time being one of them join my discord and we'll direct you in the correct area join my discord even if you just want to join and have a bit chat about clash of clans share some knowledge get some tips we are all there now in terms of town hall 10 i have a video linked right now which shows you the best attack strategies for town hall 10 be sure to go and watch that one guys be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell but until next time peace out